Previously on Sailing Catalpa, Bella gives some of her clothes to a girl at a Toro Island. We go top speeds on Catalpa sailing, arrive at Kupang, and check back in to Indonesia. And we are now on our way to the island Rote. So the sails just ripped a little bit and um, on the mainsail, and we've just pulled it down completely because we didn't want to rip it uh, bad. It's not very big. Um, so it's fixable, so that's why we wanted to get the sail down. It's a real bummer because we've got like 20 knots of wind and we could have sailed the entire way, but we'll just turn the engine on and um, get the head sail out. We're going to have to motor and then we'll stop somewhere and fix the, the main sail. Could have been a lot worse, so oh well. So what's just happened is um, our sail ripped a little bit and Lee gets real bummed out because he feels like we should have never left Australia with our boat the way it is, like we should have got new sails and we should have yeah, knew everything that's broken. He really just he struggles with the whole old boat thing um, and because he's the one who fixes everything so it's down, something goes wrong, it's like what are we doing? We don't have the money now to put new sails on the boat, so we're just going to keep patching this sail, which is already so patched. And the guy, sail maker, before we left said I wouldn't leave with those sails, but we didn't have the money to get new sails up then, and we don't now, but you know, we've made these decisions. So it's just, oh yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share with you guys, like, everything isn't perfect all the time and, and this life that we've created yeah it's beautiful yeah it's a lot of things but there are definitely some really challenging times and really testing times not fun times and uh, yeah today today's one of them so. I got you in my to Ba'a, one sail down. Still got one sail. Still got one. We still didn't have the motor. Sails. Yeah, that's right. We'll stitch it up, be good. So we've got 30 nautical miles, is it? Tomorrow, not very far, to get to Numbrella, to get to some surf, sun, Crocodile's here, isn't it? Yep, there's crocodile signs yep. over there. Yep. 
over there, only about 100 metres that way, the crocodile's not over here. Alright, and that's for the short straw who gets to go in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Not only get in the water, get in the water and splash around. <laughs> There's two of them in the water now. They're splashing around to get the fish into the hands. They're going back. We just watched one of them was out of the water, the one that jumped in first. It was freezing. Poor guy, the wind's pretty cold. They're like splash more, splash. These guys spent more than an hour putting out nets, splashing, then pulling it back in, and we didn't see any fish. So much effort for no fish. They moved another few hundred meters and tried again. Good morning, everyone. So we're leaving Baa this morning and heading to Numbrella. Can we scrub? We found a spot and dropped the anchor. Happy to be here, we went ashore and had some nasi goreng with our friends at Shipwreck Bar. So today we haven't left the boat. <laughs> we arrived in Numbrella, but the surf wasn't that great, so we haven't been surfing and we've just done some jobs today. Lee's got some jobs on his list that he had to get done. Well, a few episodes ago, we lost one of our nav lights, <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> lost our starboard nav light um, and I was able to utilize a white light we had with a bit of Bella's green nail polish but I'm just um, replacing it now and uh, Sean you bring over these nav lights Thanks, and, uh, I've got these little I'm gonna try these out they're actually like a solder in the middle glue either side and heat shrink tubing three in one they're a Japanese little heat shrink thing which I'm going to try out. So I'll do that. I'll twitch them together like so. I'll slide this over here. I can heat that up. The solder goes over the wires and then it's got the glue and the heat shrink. And then I'll double up on that with a little bit of extra heat shrink, which I've got either side with a little bit of electrical tape and self amalgamating tape to tidy it all up. New lights. Nice. Winds up, strong, 30 knots in umbrella, so no surf. A little bit of boat maintenance. Yeah. And, uh, and a little bit more boat maintenance. And a bit more boat maintenance. So you can see all the solder in the middle, two bits of glue, and obviously the heat shrink tubing. That's what they were. So it should be a good join. Alright, so I've got our two new nav lights wired up ready to go our old white light has a blown globe so i'm going to replace just that with we had a spare white light which we converted with a bit of bella's red nail polish to or green nail polish I should say to our spare starboard light that went just as to get us by it was a quick wire up on passage but now i'm going to utilize this one and it was like a masthead light I'll epoxy them up after clean off the black because we had that all blacked out and that's the same light and it should fit in there and away we go again light problems on Catalpa sorting them out one by one it's very windy and Lee is um, fixing our sail this morning so he's Got his old sewing needles out and he's uh, fixing it all up. Dad did his best to make the tear repair as strong as possible and I think he did a pretty good job.
Nice work, old man. But we're going to go ashore now. We had a few days at Numbrella seeing some friends from last time. We saw lots of beautiful sunsets and had a few drinks and yummy food with our mates from Shipwreck Bar. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. And finally got to go surfing. Mum and Dad also had a few surf dates together. Mum and Dad time! Fellas dropping us in the lineup. She can drive that tender well, ladies and gentlemen. Look at her go! So Mum and Dad are surfing. I drop them out closer to where the waves are because usually it's a really big paddle. Oh, I think that's Mum and Dad. Well, I am fantastic at filming. We had a few great days here, enjoying being back, but the ocean was cooling us and it was time to move on. It's got no battery. Low battery. Did you bring the other camera? So we went ashore this afternoon. I didn't have the, the camera with us, um, but we managed to get <laughs> a whole carton in our backpack and Lee walked down the street with a whole <laughs> carton of it. <laughs> So, how good is this bag? It's called, it's an overboard bag, it's waterproof, it's the best bag we've ever owned, and um, it's even better because it fits a whole carton of beer in it. We are still in Umbrella, and um, I think we're going to head off to another island called Sabu tomorrow. Um, we went over this, this afternoon and just uh, got some supplies Got some beer and rice and a few veggies, all actually just tomatoes because there is no markets here until Tuesday and we were going to wait until Tuesday to go to the markets but um, we're not. It's a bit windy and we've been here before and it's a beautiful place but we're ready to move on and um, yeah so we just went over this afternoon and said bye to everybody and just getting the boat ready. We have to leave probably around 2 or 3 a.m. to get to the island tomorrow in plenty of time in the daylight. Um, maybe earlier if we can. So we might go to have a bit of a sleep and then get up and head off. But we'll see. We had fun here. It's um, definitely a better surf last time, but it's all right. You can't have good waves all the time. It was nice to just get in the water and have have a bit of a surf and um, yeah looking forward to somewhere new. Good morning, you can say morning, it's 2.30 am and uh, we're about to head off to Sabu, it's early, we're on the red eye, we had three hours sleep, but we'll see how we go, well I think we're going to get there at daylight so we thought we'd just get up and go. Literally red eye. Which 
straight there. So we just pulled anchor and we're heading off. It's actually probably the nicest morning we've probably had here and uh, the wind's dropped out, eh? <laughs> we're gonna try and sail. But uh, we'll see how we go. Umbrella is always, always nice. It was short but extra sweet. We'll be back one day. Well, we're on our way to Savu. Not very relaxed there, Captain. Yeah, I'd like a little bit more wind, but hey. We're not going as fast as we'd like. We were hoping to get there a little earlier. We usually work on five knots and that usually gets us there. Um, we have been doing a rough around five. We've been getting around five, but just slipping under where I'd prefer to be up around the seven knots. So looks like we'll be getting there maybe just on dark, which is not <laughs> ideal. Um, it's a 300 metre wide entrance into a lagoon with waves either side and enough room for about two boats apparently. Let's see how we go. Otherwise, we'll just have to. Too, well, that'd be fun. Oh, we met another couple at um, Numbrella. They're in a catamaran and they've got another couple. There's four of them on the boat. And uh, they left, I think, at midnight last night. So they're going to be there. So when Lee says there's room for two boats, <laughs> hopefully there isn't another one there. Hopefully they haven't anchored in the centre. Yeah, we'll see. We haven't been here before. We we'll just hope the wind picks up a little bit so we can get there early enough. Mum missed it, but that splash was a Mako shark. Dad caught while we were sailing. It was a bit of excitement. We were just hawking along at like eight. How long? How quick? He was on the phone, was talking to Jay, and then uh, mine just went running. Did you get it on camera, the oh, shark? I think maybe one. You there, Jay boy? There was a big shark or something got on the line and it was just jumping out. Man, that thing built some line off. Wow, I haven't yeah. heard that reel go like that since Fresh I can remember. Oh, I thought it was a wahoo. So did I. It was a big one if it was. I it was That was a shark kind of thing, don't you think? just picked up to 20 knots. Well, it definitely was a shark. He's just wound in the line and um, what's happened? Just chewed straight through here and uh, like 100 kilo wire it's chewed through and then I'd say as a mako it, it was like maybe three meters in the air. It was launching. Six, six jumps. I think I got one jump on camera. I, was, I didn't. Uh, come around the headland and Obviously the boats increased, we had 20 knots of wind, we started flying, we had full sails out and then um, <laughs> we're on the phone. Going off, we're on the phone to a maid, it's just like, whoa. Oh, nothing, you can have nothing happen and then all of a sudden everything happens all at once. So we're just coming up to our next headland which should be our anchorage for this evening. And there should be waves either side. The island of Cebu. There were no other boats and a beautiful anchorage, we were stoked. And as the sun went down, we watched the little waves roll in and our friends on Paradise arrived. Tell us about your day there, Captain. How was my day? Um, it was long, wasn't it? It was long. I lost my, I wouldn't say favourite lure, but I, I just put brand new hooks on it and I was really good <laughs> hooks. Did. I lost my hooks. It was pretty cool though, seeing... The shark, I reckon it was a maker. I've never seen a shark jump so many times like that. Um, it must have been six foot in the air, I reckon. Yeah, we're on a run today. Put a little bit more wind would have been nicer, but we got here and we got here before dark, and that's the main thing. We like to get into our anchorage before dark, before the sun goes down. Find some nice little waves from here on in. Cheers. Guys, we met in Umbrella have just arrived. Oh, nutty, I mean. So we had a massive day sailing. We're here and we've got beautiful sunset. 
Here's some freshly made hummus by Bella. Bella's just whipped up a little hummus here with a few nuts on the side. So we're at the island Savu. We're gonna go ashore this morning, see if we can find um, some markets to get some fresh fruit and veggies. And just to have a look around. There's a, we thought there'd be surf here, but there's, there's two surf breaks that we can see. We're anchored in between them, but there's no surf this morning. So we're gonna go have a little explore ashore. So apparently uh, Cook, this is one of Cook's stops. Captain Cook came to Savu in, when did he stop here, babe? 1770. So that's a bit interesting. Uh, crazy just guessed that, but... We just guessed that. It's around then. Around 1770. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we meet some beautiful people here at Savu and have some adventures with our new friends from Sailing on Paradise. This is where we're going. Who's going first? <laughs> Tosh. So that was episode 98. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you like that video and all our other videos, please subscribe. And press the thumbs up. Want to know what's happening in real time? You want to see where we are? You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. At Sailing Catalpa. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. It all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all